Sam Hostetler read a message he wants Indianapolis to hear after Jonathan and Wilma Hostetler of Bloomfield were shot near 38th Street and High School Road early Thursday. I extend forgiveness toward the two murderers. Revenge only begets more violence. My heart's desire for them is that they would repent and fall on their faces before the Lord Jesus and cry out for mercy for their own soul's sake. Jonathan expects a full recovery from a bullet through his neck. He underwent surgery last night to fuse three broken vertebrae and is grateful not to be paralyzed. The hardest thing for him is going to be to, to pick up and go on without Wilma. Literally, he, di he didn't breathe without Wilma being a part of it. That's how close they were. Pray for Jonathan that he can, you know, pick up the pieces and, and his children. They're just devastated. The couple's roofing company was working today at the job site where their trailer broke down two days ago. Wilma drove here from Bloomfield Wednesday night with a spare tire. The tire was replaced, but then there were problems with the trailer lights. And while they worked on that, Jonathan says two men approached, pulled guns, robbed them, and shot them. The couple have four children. Their six-year-old was in the truck and saw his parents get shot. We have the hope and the assurance of eternal life. And we have the confidence that Wilma went to be with her maker. The children know that. And they know that if they continue in the Christian faith, someday they'll, they'll, they'll be with mother. That's the best way that we cope with that. Metro police have not released any suspect information.